What's up everybody? Today we're going to be tying a really cool hair jig for smallmouth. So for this one I like to use a 3 32nds ounce jig head. This is a size 2 hook and I powder painted it with Protec Black. For the thread we're going to be using a black UTC Ultra Thread 70 denier. We're just going to start that thread behind the head and take it down to the point of the hook. For the tail on this we're going to be using a Tiger Barred Magnum Rabbit Strip. It doesn't have to be the Magnum, it can just be the regular. Uh, the Magnum is a quarter inch hide and the regular is one eighth inch. So just whatever you prefer. I'm just gonna take a piece of that and cut about an inch of the hide off and we're gonna tie it in right on top. We just wanna measure that so that the length of the tail is a little longer than the hook itself. I like to give it just a little more length so it has more action, it drives the fish crazy. Make sure you tie it really tight and keep that hide wrapped around the top of the hook so it stays in place. Then bring your thread up to the head. And now I like to add a little drop of super glue just to make sure nothing moves. And then wrap over that glue and this will help get the glue down in the thread wraps. then just use a paper towel or use your finger to wipe the excess. And for the body, I'm going to be using a black rabbit strip. This is just a regular size 1 8 inch hide. And strip a few of those fibers off the butt end of that and tie it in. Make sure it's nice and tight. Then we're just going to start wrapping that. We want the hide to be pressed against the hook, so make sure that you're wrapping it the correct way. You don't want the fur against the hook, you want to make sure the hide is up against the hook. And once you've got that hide facing the hook, you can just wrap that. You want to wrap it so that each turn slightly overlaps the last, so that you're kind of ribbing the hide. If you don't overlap the hide, then the fur won't stick straight back, which is what we want because it's kind of imitating a leech or a bait fish profile, and it'll really be sticking out if we don't overlap, so you want to make sure you do that. And if you overlap too much, you'll trap a bunch of those fibers and you'll just be using way too much of this hide. So just overlap about halfway and make sure you keep it nice and tight, turn it up to the head, and once it's there, you can tie it off with your thread really tight. You wanna make sure you get some good wraps behind, and then a wrap or two in front of that. Then we're just gonna clip off that hide as close as possible. And now we're going to stroke all the fibers back from that body, and then just wrap over that with our thread. And you could finish it just like that, but I like to add a little collar of thread just to make sure that everything stays together. It doesn't really make much of a difference when this thing is swimming in the water, so I like to make sure it stays together the best I can. Let's just go over that as much as you want to. Try not to go too far back on the hide. But again, just take your time here. And when you're happy with that, you can whip finish. I like to give it a six turn whip finish as always. Pull the thread tight and clip it off. So that is our smallmouth hair jig. It could mimic a leech, a bait fish, a craw, anything like that. So just adjust the colors accordingly. I really like to use the dark body and the hot tail like this just to really attract those fish. And I'm gonna blow on it here so you can see kind of the action as it swims through the water. When it's at rest, these fibers will fray out like this, and then as it's moving, they'll slim down, and it will have an irresistible action that'll catch you tons of fish. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you next time.